Suspicious Minds, what a song. Written by Mark James, we'll be looking at the 1969 epic Elvis version today. A little bit of picking, a little bit of strumming. We'll be using our acoustic guitars today and I'll be using just my fingers throughout the whole song. Now, how do we get that awesome guitar riff in the intro and verses? Let's take a look. This is a fantastic intro based around the chords G and C. I'll talk you through the strings, frets and fingers for both hands and then we'll look at how to count it. So we start with the third finger on the fretting hand on the third fret of the E string and on the picking hand we play the thumb on the E, we play the thumb on the D and then we play the index and middle fingers together on the B and G and then return back with our thumb to the E. So slow down. We then, leaving our fretting hand where it is, bring our thumb on our picking hand back down to the D string, and on our fretting hand, our middle finger is gonna to prepare to hammer on to the second fret of the D string. So we're gonna pick the D string open, and then, hammered that middle finger onto that second fret. We bring our index finger on our fretting hand, press it down onto the first fret of the B string, and on our picking hand, we play the index finger and middle finger on the G and the B strings together. The thumb then plays the D string, and then we play the index and middle fingers again, and then the thumb one more time. So that second section that intro riff slowed down counting this we have 16th notes in there so I'll be counting it one E and a two E and a etc. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. A little bit slower. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. This intro riff plays four times. I'm going to speed it up a little bit and count it through with you. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a We're now going to continue into the verse. The verse is an extension of this intro riff with a couple of little twists in there as well. You could just play the chords for the intro, which I'll show you too. But if you do want to extend the riff, let's go. We already have the first vocal line. It's an extension of the intro played twice. I'm caught in a trap. Moving on, we move our fingers on our fretting hands to the C position. Our fingers on our picking hand are all gonna move down a string. So the thumb comes to the A, the thumb then goes to the G, the index and middle play the B and the high E, and then the thumb comes back to the A. It's the same picking pattern as the previous chord on the different strings. With the same counting. The second part of that transition leaves the third finger on the third fret A string, flattens the first finger, the index finger, across the B and the E strings, and that middle finger on that fretting hand is gonna hover above the second fret of the G string because it's gonna hammer on to that second fret. So we're now creating an F slash C chord. So we want that A string to keep ringing out. We're gonna bring the thumb down to the G, hammer that middle finger on, the fretting hand, 
and then the index and middle finger play the B and the E together, thumb plays the G, index and middle finger together play the B and E, thumb plays the G again. Slowing that down. Again. And putting the two card sections together. Moving on to the D chord section, we go from a D to a G triad here. So open D chord, thumb plays the D string, then down to the G, index and middle play B and E together, thumb comes back up to open D. We then pick the G string, but we're gonna slide that middle finger from fret two to four on the G string and drop our first finger so it flattens across the B and the E and play those two together and then the thumb comes back to play the G. So in this rhythm, We then go back to the C and we mirror the picking pattern that's just occurred, but we're playing the same strings and shapes that we previously played on these two chords. So we've still got the C chord. Back to that A string third fret and then we hammer on. And then we finish on the G, back to the original pattern. Twice. So playing through just the verse chord structure, slowed down. This is the riff for the verses in the song. If you feel like you're not quite there yet and you're a little, oh, it's a bit too much, strum the chords. I'll show you quickly how to do that now. We're just gonna concentrate on down strums. We play in a G. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. C, same again. I can't walk out. And that will get you through the verses. Looking at the chords now we need for the rest of the song, we have a G, a C, a D, D7, we have an E minor, we have a B minus seven, there's a turnaround at the end of verse two and I like to use that chord for that. We also have a B minor in the chorus, you can use the same chords or you can use the B minor bar chord if you want the fuller strums and you have your bar chord sorted. We also have a B7 sus4 and a B7. 
Now moving on to the turnaround at the end of verse 2. This turnaround precedes the chorus, it leads us nicely into the chorus. So once we're at the end of verse 2, we play... <laughs> I'm picking it. I'll show you how you can strum it in a second. So we play the D chord. We have the thumb on the D string, index finger on the G string, and I use my middle and ring on the B and the E. So we got one, two, three, four, back to the thumb on the D string. It's the same picking pattern then throughout the chord. So when we move to the C chord, we move all of our fingers up and we play A string, D string, G and B string, and back to the A string. For the B minor, it's the same, the B minor seven. And then for the D seven, it's the same picking finger configuration as the D chord. So once again, If you want to strum this, you can play down, 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 down. Moving on to our chorus now, we have the same strumming pattern throughout. The foundation of this rhythm on the C chord is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. This is one and two and three and four and. There is a sense of urgency developing in this song, so we really get an opportunity to build the energy. I like to create a bit of definition between the strings and enhance that pattern a little bit more by playing the one and on the lower strings. Two, I accent by playing the higher strings and three and on the lower strings and then four on the higher strings and four and on the lower strings. So we have one and two and three and four and. It gives us a little bit more drive. So playing through that chord sequence, three, four, C, G, B minor with suspicious mind, D, E minor, B minor, and suspicious mind, D7. At this point, we are back to verse two, and we do the whole sequence again. At the end of the second chorus, we have a B sus4 to B7. You can play this as a bar chord if you're ready for that too. And this takes us into the middle section. This middle section has a time signature change. Up until this point, the song's been in 4-4. Four, four. four beats per bar, one and two and three and four and. We are now, when we get to the end of the second chorus and we do the transition, B7 sus4 to the B7, we are eased into a 6-8. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. With the chords, E minor. So play the lower strings, one, two, three, and then the higher strings, four, five, six. Then we go to B, you can do the bar chord or the B7. One, two, three, four, five, six. C, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it repeats. D. Then we start to build the strums on the G, one, two, three, four, five, six, C, three, four, five, six, I'm bringing us back into the final part of the song. We go to a D7 chord and staggered, we play one, two, three, four. We're now at the final part of the song. It's about half of the song. 
but it repeats and builds and builds and builds. So it's the first kind of verses of the song. I'm caught in a trap. So we can either come into it with the picking pattern we did at the beginning, or if we just want to come in there and build it, we can strum this whole thing. We play in the same rhythm that we do for the chorus. So little slow play through. G. I'm caught in a trap. C, D, because I see too much G, bar, one, two, three, bar, again, why can't you see, see what you're doing, D, see what I say. That plays round and round and round, so you can really get into your strums, speed it up, just build that energy with Elvis. The song structure, we have the intro, verse one, verse two, chorus, verse three, verse four, chorus. This chorus slows down and segues into the six, eight middle section. And when we're through that, we come back in with loads of energy to repeat what is the verse one and two, but with this new added energy and they repeat, repeat, repeat until you fade out. In this lesson, I take you through Can't Help Falling In Love by Elvis. It's a finger picking style song, nice open chords if you wanna continue with your Elvis fix. I'll see you next time.